Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review The Ice Road, uh, the latest film directed by Jonathan Hensley, starring Liam Neeson, which Netflix will be releasing June 25th, 2021. Uh, Jonathan Hensley is probably best known as a screenwriter, uh, especially during the 1990s, having written uh, Armageddon, Die Hard with a Vengeance. Previously as a director, he did The Punisher and Kill the Irishman. Uh, this film stars Neeson as a man named Mike, who, as the title indicates, uh, knows how to drive a truck down uh, an ice road, uh, basically a suicide mission uh, as we're told in the opening credits uh, by truckers that have to drive across the icy tundra to transport um, whatever they need to uh, in obviously inclement weather, uh, etc. Uh, it opens actually in Winnipeg, Manitoba, uh, where there is an explosion uh, at a minery uh, where uh, 26 miners are caught underground uh, with a methane bubble, uh, uh, causes an explosion, and we learn briefly that their methane sensors were not working, which of course is uh, going to come up later in the plot. It's off season, it's April. Uh, Past March, uh, we learn in lots of exposition in the dialogue from Lawrence Fishburne's character Goldenrod uh, that all the truckers that he could call upon uh, are on vacation. Uh, but he knows most of the miners that are trapped under there, so he personally takes it upon himself to find uh, three drivers uh, in a tactic known as tactical uh, redundancy, where they need to have three different trucks uh, with 65,000 tons uh, of equipment, including uh, 18 feet gas wellheads, which is the equipment they need to get down to the miners um, across uh, from North Dakota to Winnipeg. Uh, he finds the sister of one of the miners, uh, Tantu, played by Amber Midthunder, Amber Midthunder and of course uh, Mr. Neeson, who uh, is accompanied by his brother Gertie, played by Marcus Thomas. And Gertie is uh, an Iraq veteran. Uh, he suffers from PTSD and aphasia. Uh, there's some very awkward character development attempted at the beginning of the film. Uh, but once we get on to the time limit, they have 30 hours to get to the miners before uh, their oxygen levels are depleted, uh, is when uh, the awkward dialogue kind of routinely falls away as the action uh, sets its course. Uh, of course, there's also an actuary for the insurance company, uh, Barney, played by Benjamin uh, Walter from Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, uh, who is also along for the ride. And of course, the more we learn, as we go along, uh, there's something that's not right in the milk. Uh, overall, if you like Liam Neeson's B-grade movies, you know, there's some are better than others. This is m maybe just a titch better than the last film that he had out, uh, The Marksman, or even Honest Thief. Uh, it, it's still a bit of a slog. There's even one half-hour chunk of time where we're caught, just stuck in the same place, and the film really does feel like it's spinning its wheels, uh, pun intended. Uh, overall, I would give them The Ice Road uh, one out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.